It's a trap, you walked right out of the hate All over a new king that's face is just replaced It's all the same, you still be ruled by force And no matter who it is, you'll still carry on the torch Just a lie, cheat, steal, half of what you make Taxation is theft, it's time to vacate the state Newsflash, all your cash is an IOU From killers who really do steal from you Inflation is a weapon used by every nation Who says that the saving in the world through lies Have they disguised and pass off as bravery? Well I got news, debt is slavery It don't matter who's matter, a new master don't matter When they both want the same the state Don't play no games, they got you trying to survive And put you on sides And ready to kill each other That's conquer and divide It's all for show of a hype of control That's a fucking I'm tired of this shit, boy And we're back with another episode of Bones and Tusper here with you on Wait, this One more time, what was that? And we're back with another episode of Bones and Tusper here with you on this Tuesday To give you all the good good that you want to hear from us In the, in the, the time of COVID-19 We are living through the lamest apocalypse ever. Yeah, uh, every day I'm reminded of <laughs> every day. Every day I'm reminded of how terrible this apocalypse is. It is not a good apocalypse. No, no. Thank you for listening to the Bones and Tubs podcast. Be sure to like, share, and comment. All those things. I'm Bones. He's Tubs. Yeah. Hello. We're on Instagram Live. Instagram dot com forward slash Bones and Tubs. We are also on iTunes, Stitcher, Beyond Pod, every way you can listen to a podcast. We're on YouTube. We would appreciate the follow so we could eventually go to YouTube Live instead of Instagram. Yeah. We're on uh, YouTube.com forward slash Bones and Tubs Show. Tremendous. Thank you to all of our Patreon supporters, of which we got a new one. Yay. Ian Fogg. There you go. Thank you, Ian. We love you. We really He do. brought us the three amigos as well. No, oh, that's nice. It's like if we're some sort of a dystopian city. He yeah. brought us three more people to help, you know, yeah. survive and thrive. People with skills. Skill sets. My skills. One of the three amigos sent me a picture from the, uh, I'm an idiot. It's either Idaho or Iowa protest. Oh, yeah? He was hanging out with a dime piece. Yeah. Wearing an American flag. Ish type dress. I saw that. Yeah. And he had that book boy outfit on. Like, just there sending a message like we're letting you know. Yeah. Just waiting to see when it starts. Yeah, there's been a lot of uh people protesting in different states. <laughs> see we last week or so. We follow the same trajectory as all these other countries. We're tired of being told what to do. And then all of a sudden they start either really testing or the numbers go up or whatever. And then they're like, We've already so, imposed harsher lockdown restrictions. Here's the thing. I I have to I like the governor of North Dakota. They didn't uh, put in any restrictions, right? I mean, they closed down the schools and whatnot. Was that the the female? I yeah. Her name. That she was like, you know what? You're all adults. You know, there is a pandemic going on. She followed the anarchy principle. So why don't you guys be conscientious human beings and keep your social distance? You shouldn't have to be told that during a pandemic you should be keeping your distance and to wash your fucking hands, you dirty, you goddamn troglodytes. Quit being a savage. <laughs> you mm. catch that troglodyte, did you? I liked it. Yeah, it kind of hit my uh, inner ball of contemplation. Yeah, but I, I like that methodology, <laughs> and I can go. I'm gonna go ahead and extend it to everybody. Yeah, you know what I mean? Because uh, in Ohio, we now have the, uh, according to the. <laughs> SS, MSM. SS. <laughs> the MSM, mainstream. Wait, I put that up. MSN. That coffee. Mainstream. Got you going. <laughs> no. MSM, mainstream media. Yeah. God, I can't, I can't think today. There you are. So uh, they have declared that Marion Correctional Institute is the new, like, hot spot. H A W T? Yes. Hot. For COVID 19. And that's in Ohio. Yeah. So, that being said, you know, you could believe all day that this isn't real, but uh, there's a lot of people that just became very, very ill with it. So, I mean, a lot of people don't show symptoms. That's the other thing you got to keep in mind. Do you have that uh, message I sent you and the doctor? I got that from Violent One on what Instagram. Was it on? What was it on? Facebook. It was on Facebook? It was a group message. One of the many group messages that we seem to revolve around in. The tainted virus, the tainted test. Yeah, yeah. Well, there is that too. But <clears throat> how do you taint a test that touches the vulnerable area where that thing infects you? You know, you'd think like 
if you were making stuff that needed to be sterile for testing purposes, right? That at the very least you would try to cover your mouth when you coughed. But apparently somebody just was like <laughs> full fucking. You know how like kids cough. You know what I'm talking about yeah. before they figured out manners and to cover their fucking mouths. In germ theory. Uh, how they like they do like full like they use their whole mouth to cough <laughs> and, like. <laughs> like that he must have coughed all over those tests like that yeah to infect so many see but my brain works in a certain way that they infected him on purpose you're probably right but you know i'll never disclude the stupidity of humanity as a factor you can't anything because the second you do that they let you know they let you down again yeah <clears throat> Like, they have been... Like, I get it. The economy is shut down, and it's affecting people's livelihoods and their money and everything. But here's the thing. I am not about all the business closures and stuff like that. But the thing is, is that if we practiced good, like, distancing and sanitation and things like that, I feel like we could kick this, right? Well, then you're talking... It's weird because we keep going back and forth in different windows. Like, <clears throat> we're talking about a regular germ. You know, but it's not a regular drug. Here's the thing. Um, if it is a bioweapon or something along those lines, we already have it. And we just don't know it. Right. Well, they say two out of ten people, supposedly, that's a new study done here in Ohio. Uh, I believe maybe even in corrections. They two, found two, two out, out of ten? That's, that's of one, the, out of, one out of five. Of the infections. So oh, ten okay. people are infected. Uh -huh. Only two out of ten know they have it. So everybody else is just asymptomatic? Right. Super spreaders. Well... Yeah, it's like I said that about somebody earlier we were talking to. You know, the thing is, though, um, it's like I was telling you earlier this week. To my recollection, I have never had a flu in my life. Well, that's because you got alien blood. And if you don't give it to me willingly, I mean, we're dudes, but I'm going to need some of that blood. <laughs> I'm going to make you bleed. Just a little zoot. <laughs> I need a little, you know. I'll get you drunk. That way it's super thin. But, you know... Uh, I'd say we get on. We're just going to be talking about news articles. Today. Yeah, I got one more one more story. thing I forgot. Okay, uh, it's the most important thing. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, our dude, Blood of the Brave. He mm. does the intro music, the outro music. He's a solid anarchist motherfucker. Check out his video channel on YouTube. YouTube to got mm. YouTube dot com forward slash Blood of the Brave. Uh, music catalog and merch at Blood of the Brave dot com. Blood of the Brave at Bandcamp dot com. And he's on SoundCloud. Kyle Reese, Blood of the Brave, Twitter at Blood of the Brave, Instagram at Blood of the Brave, Facebook, Blood of the Brave Music. Buy his music, let him know that the Buns and Tubs podcast sent you. He's got that fire. Okay, so before we get started on the main stories, we I just got back into it and he got into it, I think, in the last couple of days too. You can find us on uh, Duolingo if yeah. you want. We, we could follow each other if you want. Um, I didn't I, know it was a social thing. Here's what I'm going to say. Is that I'm, new? Duolingo? No, the social aspect. I thought it was just... It is that it. aspect, as far as I know, I don't know how long it's been out, because back when I first started it, like two years ago, it wasn't, and then I got out of it for a really long time. <laughs> yeah. But what I will say is, I'm not going to give my... Because it actually has my <clears throat> name name, and I'm not oh. going to say that on the show. Yeah. Um. Well, not my name name name. Your government name. Not my government name, but the name people know me by. Uh, I have many names. He's made of many names. I'm a secret man. So anyways. Many, many masks. But if you ask on, uh, or send us a message on Instagram or email or something like, hey, add us. But send us a message and I will add you or I'll give you my info. But I'm not going to do it over the show. Yeah. Because I'm weird like that. Here's my social security number. Because last thing I need is, uh, what is it named? Joni McC Nicole. <laughs> something like that. Yeah. I don't need Joni and Nicole trying to add me on Duolingo and figuring oh, out what I'm doing. I think Joni and Nicole should pray about it. That's all I'll say. Well, you know, the thing is, and you know, you could be learning any. I, <laughs> I will say Duolingo, I'm not going to, they're not a sponsor. FYI, no, not a sponsor. But it's a great app. Uh, I'm going to get my son on board with it here the next couple of days. Get him. Like, how many languages can we pump into that? Board? Listen, I don't know. I thought about me and him going in together, ham on High Valerian. Yeah. That would just, <laughs> so that me and him just had a language we could speak together. <laughs> I said, pick up your fucking toys. Yeah. But uh, no, it's a language app. It's free. Um, and it's a good app. And they're not a sponsor, like you said. We are not getting any money from any sponsors. But, uh, you know, I think in these times when we people got a lot of downtime and they're trying to, like, 
better themselves, I think one of the best things we can do is open up channels of communication. You know what I mean? I think the more people are able to understand each other, I think the more peaceful world we could have. And that's as hippie-ish as you'll ever hear me. I can't agree more. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. But anyways, back to what we're talking about today. The most important thing, I think right now, at least in the global sense, is we need to economically back, open up fuck, open up the trade routes. What's wrong? Oh, uh, just give me one second. Okay. Keep going. Um, you know, trade routes are important. And, you know, I'm no globalist, but I believe in commerce between countries is good. Well, trade amongst nations is important. Trade amongst not, nations is important. Not required. We shouldn't be getting beef from Brazil. But, I mean, think about it. If a country wants to trade with you at a fair price in the, fair mar- in the free market, why not? Listen, you know, think about it. Uh, you know, think about, like, you know, Italy is really good at making spaghetti, right? A spaghetti. You know, I'm sure there's places here that make spaghetti. But sometimes I want some authentic Italian spaghetti because that's the best. And there's only one way to do that, and that's to open up the shipping channels. It's very important that we get our shipping channels back open, especially with Hong Kong. Yeah, you and know. that's our first story. That's like, uh, yeah, one of our main uh, trade partners is Hong Kong. We need uh, the Hong Kong ports open again for business because, you know what, Hong Kong needs that support. You know, I could not agree with you more. They need that support. We've said before in num- numerous shows that we have. Uh, we stand behind Hong Kong. We stand not only behind Hong Kong's freedom, but we ourselves are involved with basic trading. They are fighting a Goliath. I noticed that you are about to imbibe them tobacco, and this story makes me want to also put a chew in my mouth because it makes me nervous. Yeah. We need everybody to pray for Hong Kong. <laughs> we need to open trade routes. We need to send them AR-15s. Yeah. We need to do anything we can to keep these chai coms out of that fucking country. They're a bastion of freedom, and we need that I like trade that term, open. chai com. Where did you get that from? Michael Savage. He calls them chai coms? You ever listen to Michael Savage's show? It's been a long time, You should honestly. get high on life one time. Yeah. Or maybe listen. drink a whiskey. Will, will listening to Michael Savage get me high on life? <sighs> I'm here to tell you. You know... Nobody's perfect. Mm -hmm. Everybody's got fucked up beliefs. Nobody should agree. I'm pretty sure that you and I are the closest two human beings on the planet that agree the most Mm -hmm. about most things. Yeah. But that being said, I don't agree with Michael Savage on a lot of things, but he is a fantastic fucking radio show. He's also a fantastic author. I'll have to look into it. I saw something from him. I've got a bunch of his books. For me, I can't remember. They're everywhere. Okay, I'll look into it. Yeah, you know, you know, I'm always, I'm always wanting to learn more. So he always calls it chai coms. Chai Chai coms. I like that. I'm gonna. I'm. I'm. Can I? Can I use that? Absolutely. I mean, he's TM'd it definitively. That's fine, but that's why we put his name out there. We give him the credit, Michael Savage and the Savage Nation. But uh, yeah, chai com. I I do like that term. It's good. (laughs) Sorry, that was a long. uh, no, it's it's all good. How the fuck do you? Make, there we go. Okay, so and here's and th- this basically when we <laughs> talk about like the whole Hong Kong thing, it's because Hong Kong needs like to come to 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 commune and commerce with the rest of the world in order to stave off the fucking juggernaut that is the Tricoms. The Tricoms, yes. Yeah. So, and if you're wondering what Tricoms means, it's Chinese communists. Hmm. Because that's what they are. And we've got a few stories in here that talk about the Chai Coms. Would you like me to read it? Yeah, go ahead. First of all, this picture here. I'm going to show it. Uh, he's not wearing... First of all, he's wearing an ineffective mask. It's made of paper. It's, like it's a, not even covering his nose. It's like a diaper for your face. And I don't know if you knew this. You breathe out of at least three holes. Okay? <laughs> so you're going to have to cover three of those holes with your face diaper. Wait a minute. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> you, what are you? What's going on? You got the giggles. You breathe out of at least three holes. Yeah, I mean that infers that you could possibly <laughs> breathe out of more holes. Listen, bro. But there's only three you if breathe you out of. You cover your nose and mouth. What if your if your nipples are open? Who knows? I mean, we don't. We're not well, scientists. I was here. always wondering about what that. We talked about the last couple of shows. We're not professionals. I don't want to. I don't want to sidetrack here, but I'm going to. I always wondered about that because okay, there is a there's holes that lead from your ears to your nose, right? That's how you can yeah. make your ears pop. Right. Right? Yeah. There's also holes that lead from your eyes to your nose. Right? That's why, like, when you, like, smell something bad, it makes your eyes water. Right? Yeah. Okay. So how could you not breathe out of your eyes or your ears, for that matter? So what if you did have more holes to breathe out of? That's what I'm saying. 
I mean, you just I, I try to structure things in a way with I my mouth sounds that it makes it to where it's like I, I just, can't be I, wrong. You know, I had to address it though because I'm sure there's somebody if I hadn't in their car that like was as baffled as me at least initially. Like, wait a minute. There's more than three holes. Yeah. I mean, what do you know? I mean, who the, the fuck knows? The secret air holes. I'm not a. I'm not an <laughs> air hole specialist. <laughs> but let me tell you something. All right. Sorry. Sorry. All right. Let's get back on the. No, you're the fine. Topic at hand. Uh, let's see. So this story comes from Greenwich Time. Greenwich. Sorry. It's two E's. But it's it's like a it's a British thing. Anyway, WashingtonPost.com. Sure. dot That's where it, it's linked. Uh, why would it say Greenwich Time if it's Washington Post? I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> from the Washington Post, Hong Kong crisis escalates as China moves to hasten demise in city's autonomy. Chicom. And this guy here is not covering two of his breathing holes <laughs> that we know of. <laughs> uh, the con. <laughs> that belly button hitter. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the constitutional crisis engulfing Hong Kong expanded dramatically on Tuesday, which is today, as the Chinese government voiced its support for the seizure of more than a dozen pro-democracy activists and asserted Beijing's rights and responsibilities to maintain the constitutional order in the city. Yeah, let's rely on Beijing <clears throat> Yeah, how about, to maintain... The- <laughs> you know what Beijing needs to be concerned with? Sending us cheap plastic shit yeah. that's not tainted with lead paint. Uh <laughs> With the statements, the Chinese government explicitly doubled down on its position that Beijing has the power to intervene politically in Hong Kong. The move threw further doubt over the credibility of the Hong Kong mini-constitution that obstinately agreed the city has a high degree of autonomy from Chinese meddling until 2047, half a century after its handover from British rule. First of all, we've talked before about Hong Kong. Check out our back catalog. Check out the other episodes. But... Fuck the Chinese government. Fuck any government, really. This is a group of people on a piece, a, a place of land that have human. Yeah. They have human rights. Yeah. So fuck your twenty forty seven. Fuck your anything. Fuck your twenty twenty intervention. Why don't you eat a dick? How about you eat a fat dick? Why don't you find? Why don't you Google search the fattest dick in the world? Like that one, the picture that everybody keeps oh memeing. I saw that dude, that black guy on the edge of the bed with that fat old. That, BBC that fucking elephant trunk that, yeah the uh, so big beautiful Caucasian but that um <laughs> that big thing hanging over the edge and probably about to touch the floor yeah but they made him Shrek they put him through a green filter I know stay out of my fucking swamp how about that yeah catch me outside <laughs> long standing questions about the efficacy and the autonomy provision known as Article Twenty Two of the Basic Law will sharpen were sharpened last week after Beijing's liaison office said Friday. It was not bound by the non-interference law and was legally permitted as a supervisory body to voice its criticism of legislative le, 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 legislative affairs in Hong Kong, including a filibuster by opposition lawmakers, said. A day later, on Saturday, Hong Kong authorities arrested some of the city's most strident anti-China voices and it coordinated an unprecedented operation, taking in figures such as former legislators Martin Lee and Albert Ho. Hope he ain't no ho, though. And media tycoon Jimmy Lay, on grounds of leading protests last year and did not receive police uh, police authorization but dominated world headlines. I tell you, I, I love the names. Yeah, I you do. know what I mean? I <laughs> felt bad. I got, you know that inner guinea pig sound you get when you say a word that might be uh, one of them bannable ones? Yeah. I hated calling that dude a ho, even though that's yeah. his name. But, like, I love how, like, you, they, like, Hong Kong is just such a strange little... You know, uh, 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 like I don't know, like uh, it's a Chinese it's an anomaly. It's right? a Chicom branch off that was tried to be a British. Well, here's outpost. The thing. It was never Chicom. You know, it was part of China, right? But the British took over. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Originally, it was Chicom. British took over. It was never Chicom. The British have been there since like the 1800s. The oh, British I were see. there since the 1800s. So it was just a. Area with Chinese people in it that well, weren't communists. Let me, let me, let me. Um, we're gonna sidetrack again. Okay, Tarantino. Okay. Tarantino. This no chomo though. And the only reason I really know this, I do love history, but the only reason I really know this is because I also am a huge fan of the Ip Man movies with Donnie Yen. And if you remember, in the second Ip Man, when they moved to Hong Kong, it's controlled by the British. 
Yeah. Right. I, That's I because thought it the, was taken from the no, Chinese. The British were always there. Right? So the British. That was their stronghold. Like, so nobody that was, where was they were, there? What do you mean? Like, Originally, no one was there. I mean, the, there was the Chinese, but they weren't communists. It was like before communism. So it was like feudal China. Yeah. Like, okay. Yeah. But but the British have had it for a long time because that was where they like. Sorry, I have a stupid brain. That was where they, they, they did that, that bait and switch with opium. You <clears> know what I mean? Yeah. So, uh, but I only know that because don't you remember that one British dude that was the villain in the second It Man movie? The boxer? The boxer? Yeah. Yeah. He could hit hard in a bitch. Hey, go watch the It Man movie. Not a sponsor, but they're. It's really hard to tell somebody what that movie is because I feel like I, I under pronunciate the P. Ip man. Ip man. It almost looks like IP man. I used to call it IP man it, when I was when I was an ignorant piece of shit. It, well, I mean, <laughs> it, it's the best way to say in an audio form, Ip man. Ip man. Check it out. Last time I watched, I believe it was on Netflix. Listen, Donnie Yen is the shit. He he, the truth. Yeah, and you know, before him, it was uh, Jet Li. He's a, well, okay, he's up there in the pantheon. <laughs> it's like him and Jet Li and Bruce Lee. You know, Jackie Chan. Jackie Chan has that fire, but he he's done too many comedy movies. But that's, for that's me to the take thing, though. Seriously. Like, here's the thing about Jackie Chan: he may have done comedies, but that doesn't negate the fact that the dude ain't a boss. No, he's right? a fuck. He beat my ass, like for sure. There's a uh, a movie, I believe it was uh, what was it, Super Cop? Right? Yeah. This motherfucker broke his foot on the set of Super Cop. Right? You know what he does? He broke it. Yeah. He fucking he drew like he he took the cast that he had on his foot and he drew a fucking shoe. So that he could still do his stunts with a broken foot. What a fucking savage. Yeah. So that's why you know he's, he broke his leg in um, Rush Hour 2, I think it was. Did he really? You remember the scene where he swings down and slams into the side of a semi-trailer? Yeah. He broke his leg. There. Okay. It's like, like I said, that's why Jackie Chan belongs in the pantheon. He's a fucking boss. Yeah. You know, Jet Li's up there, too, because after the, su- uh, the tsunami story listen, is what I yeah. always tell when that's it comes to That's the one that, that I tell everybody. Yeah. Yeah, the tsunami story. So the tsunami's coming, and he's at a he's at a resort. <laughs> we got to tell him now. <laughs> yeah, he's at a beachside resort. I forget what country it's in, but it was a tsunami of 04. He was like in Thailand or something. Okay, he yeah. was in Thailand, not messing with lady boys because he's all the way hetero. But anyway, <laughs> uh, he had his kids, and they were at like some gated pool on a beachside um, resort. This fucking tsunami's coming through. He grabs his two kids up under his arms. And he fucking up to the wall, goes yeah. over the fence, and survives. He ninja, he ninja fucking jumps. Bounce. He ninjas like a fucking Hanzo up the fucking wall. Hanzo. <laughs> <laughs> was that pretty good? That was really good. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna finish this fucking story. Okay, all right, all right. <laughs> a day later, uh, with Hong Kong's streets in recent months cleared of mass protests due to coronavirus, the legislators and activists in the city's pro-democracy camp say the Communist Party. And the Hong Kong authorities have used the opportunity to cripple the movement through a prolonged approach while world attention has been diverted elsewhere by the pandemic. Aside from the mass arrests and increasingly pointed declarations about China's supervisory role over the city, Chinese officials in Hong Kong, including the newly installed director of central government liaison office, Lu Huing. That's some fucking, uh, that's some fucking Mortal Kombat shit. Lu Huing have called for improved national security education in Hong Kong and passage of a national security law that would toughen up law enforcement and prosecutional powers. Basically, they're doing what our government's doing here in the United States and in Ohio, specifically. Mm -hmm. They're trying to get more power. Never let a good crisis go to waste, they say. Violence in its statement. The Chinese cabinet's Hong Kong and Macau Affairs Office said that it said it's American support for the protesters that in fact amounted to a political conspiracy and a reckless trampling of human rights and rule of law in Hong Kong. The law is sacred, and everyone is equal before... Okay, suck my dick. Yeah. The central government office said, <clears throat> suck my dick, added, no one has extrajudicial privileges, and those who violate the law must be prosecuted in accordance with the law, except for the officials. Uh, in, separate, in a separate statement, Beijing leaned into its claim. See, they're doing mm-hmm. it like tubs, leaning in there. Yeah. Got to lean in. Lean. Are you telling me to lean in? <laughs> well, no, I mean like you always say, you got to lean in. You got to lean in. It's you like gotta... your it's like your personal logo. Uh-huh. Like if you when you go out and you make your own podcast where it's just the tub show, <laughs> and you're better than me. That'd be the boring, most boring show. Your, <laughs> your fucking motto is lean in, and everybody's like getting tattoos on their neck and shit. Yeah. Because that's where they get tattoos. Uh, <laughs> the central government grants the special administrative region a high decree of autonomy, which does not mean that the central government does not have or surrender its supervisory power, said the statement. In Hong Kong, 
Whenever the central government exercises power in accordance with the law, there are always people who clamor the central government is intervening in Hong Kong's autonomous affairs. I'm done. Okay. But anyway, it's government trying to do what it does. So basically, everywhere. what this breaks down to, bone, the message Bones and Tubbs are trying to convey here. We need to reopen the trade routes. We need to reopen the trade routes. Specifically Hong from Hong Kong, Kong can, to Ohio. I cannot <laughs> stress this enough. Huh? <laughs> shout out that. Shout out that pharmacist. All of them. Everybody. Yeah. Hong Kong is not... How, how big in the United States would you say Hong Kong is? Like, if you... If I have you, no fucking clue. It's not that big. It's very small. Yeah. I mean, it's like a city. We're going to go with, like, uh, Dayton, Ohio? A little, probably bigger than Cincinnati. that. Cincinnati? I mean, it's a metropolis. Are like, we going to go Columbus? I would say more on par with, like... Uh, Certainly not as big as FEMA District 5. Probably not as big as, like, New York City or something, but... Okay. Think more like that. Yeah. You know, like, may, let's say Chicago. You know? Minus the black on black crime copy. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. So while we're in Asia, because I feel like it's the next one in our list of articles, I feel like we have to stay in Asia for a minute. Yeah. I mean, this Um, is a really good story. This made me happy. Even though it came from CNN. I know. I just clicked the link and I was like, oh, I didn't want to give them, I don't want to give them attention. I'm not trying to give them no clickbait. So you want me to read this one? Go ahead. Let's let's switch hit it. All right. No homo. So while we're in Asia, uh, headline, U.S. monitoring the intelligence that North Korean leader is in grave danger after surgery. That'd be Kim Jong-un. And by surgery, they mean exposure to the bioweapon. Okay. So the U.S. is monitoring intelligence that suggests North Korea's leader Kim Jong-un is in grave danger after undergoing a previous surgery, according to a U.S. official with direct knowledge. A second source familiar with the intelligence told CNN that the U.S. has been closely monitoring reports on Kim's health. Kim recently missed the celebration of his grandfather's birthday on April 15th with rage speculation about his well-being. He had been seen four days before that at a government meeting. Another U.S. official told CNN Monday that the concerns about Kim's health are credible, are credible, but the severity is hard to assess. National Security Advisor Robert O'Brien said the U.S. is keeping a close eye on reports about Kim's health. We're monitoring these reports very closely, O'Brien said during an interview with Fox News Tuesday. As you know, North Korea is a very closed society. Later on Tuesday, a U.S. defense official said that the U.S. military assessment is that while they are examining reports regarding Kim's poor health, the evidence is that this point does not suggest he is incapacitated. Uh, Daily North Korea, an online newspaper based in South Korea that focuses on North Korea, reports that Kim reportedly received a cardiovascular system procedure on April 12th. That fat, cheese-eating fuck. Yeah, he just stuffed his fucking arteries, man. Uh, Kim received the cardiovascular system procedure because of excessive smoking, obesity, and overwork. Oh, I'm sure it was the overwork. (laughs) It was the overwork that did it, guys. By overwork, he means raping the slaves that he oversees. Yeah. According to the news site, and is now receiving treatment in a villa in... Young San County following the procedure. After assessing that Kim's condition had improved, most of the medical team treating him returned to Pyongyang on April 19th, and only part of them remained to oversee his recovery situation. According to the news site, CNN is unable to independently confirm the report. Whoo! Man. Yeah. A South Korean source told CNN Monday that the country's top leaders were very much aware of reports about Kim's health status, but cannot independently verify details published by Daily North Korea. NK. It's, I, I feel like it means North Korea. North Korea. Yeah. DPRNK. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> the, the source acknowledged that Kim's issues related to weight and smoking are well known, but clearly they are waiting for more information. South Korea's president... Pre- sorry, I fucked that up. <laughs> That, that whole thing. South Korea's presidential blue house said in a statement provided to reporters, they have nothing to confirm on reports about Kim's health and that no unusual signs have been detected inside North Korea. South Korea's unification ministry and defense ministry have given a no comment. Huh? So neat. Yeah. Hopefully that fat bitch dies. I mean, I, I'm not trying to fat shame, but you know, that dude is no, a uh, no, piece fu- of shit. Yeah. Fuck him. He's a, um, a dictator. Yeah. How am I dictate? I mean, it would be better if he was like, I think more like Mussolini. Mussolini. You know? But I think his people are too afraid to do that to him. Yeah. You know, because they think he's like a god who doesn't poop. Yeah. I mean, how, ah, man. 
that he makes the sunrise. I wish we could take some of our Patreon money at patreon.com forward slash modes of tubs and use it on the uh, South Korean or CIA, I think that's what they call it, um, effort to drone drop USB like movies and articles and information over into that country. Yeah. Because uh, I'm trying to break the, the government. Not just here, but everywhere. Yeah. Because government slavery. But anyway, check out Mark Passio on YouTube. I was just trying to see if there's anything else in this article about like who would, uh, if there's speculation on if he's something happened to him, who would take over for him. The, and, uh, uh, the one that I saw earlier was his sister. So maybe his, uh, his bitch ass can't uh, make the babies. Well, it would only just go to prove that when it comes to being uh, tyrannical dictators, that women are just as capable as men. Ooh, equality. Yeah. I mean, I don't think there's I don't think there's a difference. I think they would be the same really. I like to think that eventually in this line somewhere somebody's gonna be like, I'm actually not a god. I got a paper cut last week. Yeah. Shit hurt. It was a manila envelope. But yeah, so that's that's what's going on in the East as we speak. <laughs> so this next story takes us to I believe it's England, right? Or the UK? France. Boy with from Parlez-vous Francais. Oh, oh, oh. I'm gonna do fromage. <laughs> Shout out Dexter's Laboratory. Boy with COVID-19 did not transmit disease to more than 170 contacts. The report published in a clinical infectious disease found that a child who was infected with COVID-19 did not transmit the virus, suggesting different transmission dynamics in children. A nine-year-old boy who had contracted COVID-19 in eastern France. They always say the east, east side's the worst. You know, he probably, it's probably like railroad tracks. Yeah. And he's on the east side. And so Suck it, bleh. Yeah. Strapped up like a car seat. <laughs> Did not pass the virus despite coming into contact with more than 170 people. <clears throat> Very popular boy, apparently. According to research that suggests children may not be major spreaders of the bioweapon. I'm sorry, the virus. Uh, the boy was among a cluster of cases linked to Stephen, Steve Walsh a Hove-based businessman who became the first Briton to test positive for the coronavirus after attending a sales conference in Singapore in January. Walsh unwittingly passed the infection on when he joined 10 British adults and a family of five at a chalet in a ski resort of Contamataz Montachori. Wait, wait, hold on. I, now, now you got me curious. Contamataz Montachori. Joie. Mon joie. Again, not a professional. In the Hotel Sauvage. After flying from in from London. You know, I took French for two years. You know, I just flew in from uh, fr- fl- flew in from France and boy, my, my arms, arms tired. tired. <laughs> <laughs> Most of the Chalet guests contracted the virus, but an investigation by Public Health France found that the nine-year-old boy did not pass it on either to either of his siblings nor anyone else. Despite coming into contact with 172 people. See, earlier you said 170. Now it's 172. Yeah. What are we talking about? Well, maybe they were estimating. All of whom were quarantined as a precaution after having lessons at three separate ski schools. Man, these motherfuckers are just don't stop skiing, man. Nah, bro. It's over. They lay in bed with three people and start skiing. You know what I mean? Oh, okay, then. Devil's three-way. <laughs> a report on the investigation published in Clinical Infectious Disease describes how tests revealed that the boy to be infected with SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes COVID-19, and also <laughs> influenza and the common cold virus, while both of his siblings caught latter infections, neither picked up the coronavirus. Uh, one child, co-infected with other respiratory viruses, attended... Jesus Christ, what are you doing? <laughs> Eat some oranges, bitch. These motherfuckers. Attended three schools while symptomatic, but did not transmit the virus, suggesting potential different transmission dynamics in children. Costas Denis, an epidemiologist at Public Health France, told the France... The French news agency, AFP. <sighs> anyway, I mean... I, we just fucking read the story. Why mm-hmm. do we got to keep repeating it? Yeah. You know they do that for clickbait. That's all it is. Well, that's like I feel like most articles these days are a lot of copy pasting. Yeah, you know, copy paste uh, a little bit of story, copy paste. Like bit of story. So, someone works for like say like we just read one from the Guardian, <coughs> so they get on uh, Daily Mail and start looking through. Yeah, and they're like, oh shit, I found something. Oh so my god, they find it and then they go to a couple other sites just to pick pieces out of it right. and then just like Frankenstein it together. 
This is my favorite. I would like you to read it. Okay. The Bright Bart. Uh, and then I will pick up on this. I'll be right back. I'm going to go do a security check while you read that. Okay. You said this is... You want me to read The Bright Bart? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Do you want me to start? Yeah. The headline reads, China, U.S., a primitive society, America, American democracy is dying. China's state-run Global Times propaganda newspaper began the week on Monday with columns proclaiming the end of American democracy and declaring that Washington was no match for China in fighting diseases that they started. China is the country of origin of the Wuhan coronavirus pandemic, which is allowed to become a threat to humanity on a global scale by persecuting doctors and others who attempted to share information on a contagious disease spreading in the central city of Wuhan. One study found that the Chinese Communist Party could have prevented, if not for its censorship and incompetence, as many as 95% of the world's coronavirus cases. The Chinese government officially denies being the origin country of the virus, despite no evidence existing con con contradicting this conclusion. Chinese foreign ministry officials have accused the American army of creating the virus in a laboratory. The Global Times dismissed America as a collapsing empire in a column featured prominently on Monday, claiming that the official number of cases in the United States versus those in China, which are widely considered false, shows that China is a sup superior public health power. The COVID-19 Chinese coronavirus spread in the U.S. is almost like that of a primitive society. It should not have been like this if the U.S. had the slightest science and organization the prop propaganda outlet asserted. To put it bluntly, the U.S. is no match for China in terms of anti-epidemic organization and mobilization. The U.S. political system has been hit by the pandemic on its weak side, and we were willing to show understanding for that. After all, every system has its weaknesses. Give me a fucking break. So, <clears throat> give me a fucking break. You motherfuckers. It starts with you. You censor doctors. You fucking downplay its, its severity. And you have not given us any official estimate. Like you, your 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 cases, your deaths, du like, and this is in the last week. I saw an article about this. Your deaths <coughs> jumped. Uh, 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 it doubled right. overnight because you said it was a clerical error. <laughs> so now you have twice as many deaths as you said you had for the last month, right? Right. Yeah. So obviously. <clears throat> There's, I mean, like we talked about this before, time and time again, China has downplayed these viruses that they get. How many people are dying from it? They're not giving us the true answers. They fucking incinerated people, and then they had pictures posted from funeral homes of the uh, urns, right? Of how many people had been fucking yeah. burnt. Yeah. I did like though. There, you know, we all know if anybody's watched Asian porn that they have tiny penises, but they exercised gigantic dick energy in that article by pointing out the AIDS thing, because it's like, hey. Bitch, you guys had the AIDS uh, bioweapon that you put out. This is our bioweapon. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. Okay, so the Global Times claimed to abandon understanding for the United States because the administration of President Donald Trump has repeatedly blamed China for not being forthcoming with pitiful information that could have saved lives during the pandemic. In that case, it is not our fault to reveal the miserable failures of the U.S., the newspaper concluded. China's achievements stand the test of time and all kinds of doubts. The Trump administration only wants to shirk responsibility by blackening China. This will be proven a lame trick. This will only reflect the incompetence and ethical failings of the related U.S. politicians, the article declared. Another article featured on Monday lambasted not just America's healthcare system, but democracy in general. <laughs> in an article titled, Divisive U.S. Politics Leads to Democracy's Fast Decay, the Chinese propaganda outlet... Go ahead. Okay. Ignore the Chinese, uh, fuck. The Chinese propaganda outlet claimed its conclusions were extracted from a conversation with a Chinese professor. The articles give no indication what, if anything, if in the article is a quote by the professor and which parts are editorial, editor, editorial, 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 ah, editorializing. God damn. One more time. Try it again. Edit editorializing. <laughs> there you go. On the part of the newspaper. Some believe that American democracy is dying. Indeed, the recent chaos in the country has proved it's in decay, the Global Times asserted. It allows infighting between the federal and the states at its critical time, aggravates U.S. society's fragmentation and polarization, and erodes the country's long-term interests. And it is the American people who will bear the losses and pain. Ooh. <laughs> the newspaper offers one silver lining to democracy. The decision-making power of each state 
did help the country avoid a complete catastrophe, given the Trump administration's inaction and incompetence. The article did not offer any examples of allegedly incompetent behavior. It also did not mention repeated statements of support for Trump's response to the outbreak from prominent Democrat governors such as Gavin Newsom of California and Andrew Cuomo of New York. Elsewhere, the article accused Trump of helping foster violence by urging support for protests against onerous coronavirus lockdown measures at the state level and supporting the Second Amendment. His, his ideas are dangerous, even more so amid the coronavirus pandemic, the newspaper warned. President Trump has made several statements questioning the Communist Party's response to the virus, among them suggesting that the official Chinese death tally is purposefully deflated. Does anybody really have that number, Trump asked during Saturday's press conference, referring to the official Chinese death toll? Because I bet Present, it's huge. Yeah, presented in statistics displayed by Dr. Deborah Burke of Coronavirus Task Force. Last week, Trump ordered a freeze on the funding of World Health Organization, United Nations body, calling for an investigation into the relationship between the Director General Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus, who is, who is not a medical doctor, and the Chinese government given misinformation the WHO disseminated about the virus. The WHO pushed China's mis misinformation about the virus, saying it was not communicable and there was no need for travel bans. And yes, I do remember that specifically. Yeah. They stated that multiple times. Fuck the WHO. Fuck the who. Uh, and there was no need for travel bans, Trump said during a press statement. The WHO's reliance on Chinese China's disclosure likely caused a 20-fold of cases worldwide, and it may be much more than that. On Monday, Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesman... Young Shuang compared blaming China for the pandemic to blaming the United States for the fall of Lehman Brothers, a global financial services firm that went out of business in 2008. AIDS was the first reported in the U.S. in the 1980s and then swept across the world, causing untold suffering to countless victims. Then anyone come forward and ask the U.S. to be held accountable, Gang told reporters. In addition, Kishwar Mubulani, <laughs> a professor at the National University of Singapore, said in an interview on the other day that the financial turmoil in the U.S. triggered by the collapse of Lehman Brothers in 2008 turned into a global financial crisis. Did anyone ask the U.S. to take the consequences? That is a bit of a valid point, but... Yeah. It is what it is. Yeah. Still, though, fuck them. Still, though, fuck them. Because you're lying about how many people die in your country, you son of a bitch. To touch on many multiple... Many multiple... Multiple last of our episode. God damn it. To touch on many of our last few episodes, uh, the National Guard, in my opinion, are not your friends. They are the closest branch to the federal government that we're getting, and I think they are also probably trying to activate the Army if they haven't already. People have sent me a lot of videos and a lot of pictures mm -hmm. of uh, military mobilizations that are not National Guard. You know, they're claiming the National Guard's being used for help. Mm -hmm. They're helping. They're here to help you. <clears throat> I don't trust them. But anyway, here's our next article from Bloomberg. Hundreds of National Guard personnel are being activated in Iowa as coronavirus sweeps through meat processing plants in a state that accounts for about a third of the U.S. pork supply. Iowa Governor Kim Reynolds said 250 National Guard members have been moved to full-time federal duty status and could help with testing and contact tracing for workers at plant-operated at a plant operated by Tyson Foods Incorporated and National Beef Packing Company. Company. <laughs> Activating Guard Soldiers is the latest attempt to contain the disease, which just kind of, in my mind, <clears throat> foretells the coming meat shortage mm -hmm. or uh, food shortages in general in the stores, yeah. which has forced a growing number of slaughterhouses uh, and meat processing plants to slow or halt operations. The, dis the disruptions... God damn it. The disruptions are stoking concerns for eventual fresh meat shortages in grocery stores, as well as leaving some farmers without a market for their animals. That's pushing down prices for hogs and cattle, while making meat more expensive. Wholesale pork posted in its biggest three-day gain in six years. At some point, we're going to have to be talking about euthanizing hogs. And we're not that far from I don't it. Under I don't understand, though. Like Well, they're claiming that it's uh, the processing plants. So like because and here's my but here's the thing they can't opinion. they can't just like hold on to them like here's the thing about fucking hogs you know like as long as you give them fucking food they keep living so the f meat doesn't go bad so why don't you just keep them alive a little bit longer you well, dumb they're, fucks they're trying to orchestrate a food shortage 
That's what it sounds like. Because I heard I saw something doing. just the other day about uh, uh, farmers uh, tilling crops, uh, like tilling their early crops already. Yeah. Because they're like, oh, there's no demand for it. We don't have any way to process these things, so shut them down. First of all, I blame the FDA. Second of all, I blame the fact that they want a food shortage. So the next time you go to the store, buy as much pork as you can, put it in your freezer. Because mm-hmm. it's about to go bye-bye. If you like pork. <sighs> it's so good. It is delicious. It's really good. Mm-hmm. Uh Anyway, check out our episode on Agenda 2030. The U.S. Department of Agriculture announced a $19 billion bill to help farmers hurt by the coronavirus outbreak, including $3 billion in purchases of meat and dairy products. On Monday, JBSSA said it was closing pork plant, closing a pork plant in Minnesota. <laughs> Governor Tim Walz had raised the possibility that some workers there may have fallen ill from another outbreak at a Smithfield Foods Incorporated pork plant in South Dakota. As we all learn more about the coronavirus, it is clear that the disease is far more widespread across the U.S. and in our country than official estimates indicate. Based on limited testing, Bob Krebs, president of JBS USA Pork, said in the statement, We have taken aggressive actions to keep coronavirus out of our plants and keep this critical infrastructure facility operational. Well, good for you, Bob. Good for you, you fucking... I got editing power, my dude. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. What are we up to now? 5G. Okay. That's the last one, isn't it? Yes, sir. All right. You want me to read this one? Certainly. <laughs> it's important. And I would like uh, for you to emphasize the fact that we encourage other people to take action. Yes. We don't specify what action, but we will okay, take action. So, so this is from the Associated Press. AP. The AP. AP. Uh, conspiracy theorists burn 5G towers claiming linked to virus. London Associated Press. Check out our old episode on this. Yes. The CCTV footage from a Dutch business park shows a man in a black cap pouring the contents of white of a white container at the base of a cellular radio tower. Flames burst out as the man jogs back to his Toyota to flee into the evening. It's a scene that's been repeated dozens of times in recent weeks in Europe, where conspiracy theories linking new 5G mobile networks in the coronavirus pandemic are fueling arson attacks on cell towers. Popular beliefs and conspiracy theories that wireless communications pose a threat have long been around, but the global spread of the virus at the same time that countries were rolling out fifth-generation wireless technology has been some of those false narratives amplified. (laughs) Officials in Europe and the U.S. are watching this situation closely and pushing back, concerned that attacks will undermine vital telecommunication links at a time they're most needed to deal with the pandemic. I'm absolutely outraged, absolutely disgusted that so- people would be taking action against the very infrastructure that we need to respond to this health emergency. Bitch. Stephen Pow- Powis, medical director of National Health Service in England, said in early April. Can I redo that one because he's British? Certainly. First of all, tell me what our time's at. 47. Okay, sweet. I'm terrible at British accents. This is going to be bad. You ready? Are you you got to act like your teeth are big. Do you want me to be uh, like fancy British or like cottony British, like give common me, British? Give <sighs> I don't know. Part of me wants to hear the charm, I'm sure, but mm. secondly, I want to hear some of that like grungy soccer fan bar talk. Well, which one do you want then? <sighs> Give me both. Mix it up. All right, all right. Oh, that's gonna be hard. I'll have to do a sentence. A sentence. You we ready? We do for this? this professionally for them. What do you, the listener? I'm absolutely outraged, absolutely disgusted that people would be taking action against the very infrastructure that we need to respond to this health emergency. That was the whole thing, so I fucked it up. <laughs> Let me see it. I'm going right, to hit it from that grungy bar from the grungy one. Where are we at? Uh, it's the very last thing. I'm absolutely outraged. That's Australian. I'm not good at this at all. Yeah, yeah. Hold on. Let me think. Oh, yeah, governor. You know. I'm absolutely outraged, absolutely disgusted that people would be taking... Is that still Australian? It still sounds Australian, oh, man, I but give up. Y- you know what? Fuck it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so... Okay, so <laughs> let's continue with the article. Yeah. <laughs> we got caught up on that one thing. Yeah. Some 50 fires targeting cell towers and other equipment have been reported in Britain this month, leading to three arrests. Telecom engineers have been abused on the job 80 times, according to Trade Group Mobile UK, making the UK the nucleus of the attacks. Photos and videos documenting the attacks are often overlaid with false commentary about COVID-19. Some 16 have been torched in the Netherlands, uh, with attacks also reported in Ireland, Cyprus, and Belgium. Posts threatening to attack f- uh, foam masks were 
receiving likes on Facebook. One post in the anti-vaccine group on April 12th shared a photo of a burned phone mast with the quote, nobody wants cancer and COVID-19. Stop trying to make it happen or every pull in mobile store will end up like this one. The trend received extra attention in Britain when a tower supplying voice and data traffic to a Birmingham field hospital. I'm glad that they had to add that it just so happened that this place was, uh, fuck you, uh, <laughs> treating coronavirus patients were among those targeted. It's heartrending enough of the families cannot be there at the bedside of loved ones who are critically ill, says Nick Jeffrey, CEO of wireless carrier Vodafone, what the Vodafone phone? UK, said on LinkedIn. It's even more upsetting that even the small solace of a phone or video call may now be denied them because of the selfish actions of a few deleted conspiracy theorists. False narratives around the 5G and the coronavirus has been shared hundreds of thousands of times on social media. They are widely from claims that the coronavirus is a cover-up for 5G deployment to those that say new 5G installments have created the virus. To be concerned that a 5G is somehow driving the COVID-19 ep- epidemic is just wrong, Dr. Jonathan Samet, Dean of the Colorado School of Public Health, who chaired a World Health Organization Committee. Oh, that that puts a lot of confidence in, in, yeah, in me glad, for him. I'm glad they have less than half of their funding now. <laughs> That research cell phone radiation and cancer. I don't find any plausible way to link them. Anti-5G activists are undeterred. Susan Bridgman, director of the Center for Electrosmog Prevention, a nonprofit campaigning against environmental electromagnetic pollution, says that people have a right to be concerned about 5G and the links to COVID-19. The entire 5G infrastructure should be dismantled and turned off, she said by email. But there's no evidence that wireless communication, whether 5G or earlier versions, harm the immune system. And Myrtle Simcoe, scientific director of SciProof International in Sweden, who has been spent decades researching the matter. The current wave of 5G theories dates back to January when a Belgian doctor suggested a link to COVID-19. Older variations were circulating before that, most revolving around cell phone radiation causing cancer spreading on Reddit forums, Facebook pages, and YouTube channels. Even with daily wireless Use among vast majority of adults, the National Cancer Institute has not seen an increase in brain tumors. The theories <laughs> gained the theories gained momentum in 2019 from Russian state media outlets, which helped push them into U.S. domestic conversation. Disinformation experts say there's a different disinformation experts. Uh, apparently, I mean, I thought we were disinformation. Well, uh, there experts. was a time they used to be called. You know what they used to be called? Um, CIA operatives. I was to say propaganda ministers. But, oh, okay, yeah. propagandists. Yeah. Ten four. Ow. What the fuck? You're just wearing that cigarette, my yeah, dude. It, I hit it on something. And it fucking. I'm just glad it didn't catch you on fire. It almost did. Glad you aren't the straw man. It's the 5G. <laughs> yeah. Look at it. That's not the 5G. Now he got on the fires. Uh, but anyways, uh, were they the loudest at a time, and did they amplify the conspiracy enough that it helped fuel its long-term success? Yes, he said. The conspiracy theorists theories have been elevated by celebrities, including actor Woody Harrelson, boss. Boss. Who shared a video claiming in China, people in China were taking down a 5G tower. It was actually a Hong Kong smart lamppost cut down by pro-democracy protesters, those bastards, in August over China's over Chai Com surveillance fears. British TV host Eamon Holmes gave credence to the theories on a talk show, drawing a rebuke from regulators. I want to be very clear, European Commission spokesman Johan Bark said Friday as the arson toll rose daily, there is no geographic, no geographic or any other correlation between the deployment of 5G and the outbreak of the virus. Good. Well, that's a theory. We definitely is. That has about as much weight as the theory that it does cause it. We've talked about it on mm-hmm. an old episode. Check it out. Yeah. Um, is there anything else you want to talk about? Well, I mean, I wanted to mention the thing you told me about. Well, this here's the thing: because I, thought I about, went from being awake and just uh, I wouldn't say happy, but just regular. I thought about mentioning it, and then kind of it's like giving it a taste because I want to do some actual good, good research on this one. Well, let's give it a let's give it a preamble. So, because here's the thing: I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna send it out there, and if anybody has anything they'd like to send to us concerning this, based on the topic. Based on the topic, yeah, it will probably. If you send us anything, we'll use it in the next show. Probably. Where would they send it? Like uh, Gmail dot com. Yeah, bones like, and tubs uh, at Gmail dot com or Instagram. Instagram dot com forward slash bones and tubs. Look at us, we switch roles. Yeah, um, or on Facebook. Uh, Facebook dot com forward slash bones and tubs. Twitter at bones tubs at bones tubs. Okay, so this morning it started with I saw something that somebody had posted, <clears> and then I sent it. I, I, I did what it said to do, and then I sent it to him to do. 
And I'm going to ask all of you to do it now, too. And I've heard about this before. This What's is time, coming sorry. up. Uh, 54. All right. I've, 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 I've heard of this before. And I, uh, I hadn't looked into it too much, but I did this morning actually do it. Because I didn't know what it was going to bring me to when I first did it. Right. Um, it came from a post by some guy named Elkie, uh, who said, uh, you wouldn't believe me if I told you, so I have to show you. Search, and this means like go to Google or whatever. Use the Google search engine. I don't ask you to do that too often. Uh, and search, and th- these three things. Search it all at the same time. TV, television, and film. So, quotation. And TV, television, and film. End yeah. quote. Yes. Minus the And quote then marks. use it as a Google image search. I yeah. want you to Google image search that. And tell me you don't get upset. And tell me that doesn't, like, make your psychic guinea pig start squealing. I almost destroyed the uh, countertop of my forehead. And this, this goes in hand in hand with what I want to talk about in the next episode. But like I said, if you guys have anything on it or you want to send us anything like this, please send it to us. Because I think I want to I want to dive into this more in the next episode. Is that, and we talked about this before when we, we talked about um, Fox Island and all that. Where for years, pedophiles have used secret back channels and codes mm-hmm. to communicate with each other. Shout out. Pizzagate. And this is one of those instances right. where they're using these back channels and codes. There's more to this, and I want to find out more. I was going to talk about more on the show today, but I want to find more before I go full full steam ahead. We with didn't this. want to do a half job. No. So if you guys know it of anything like that, please send it to us, and we'll probably use it on the next show. Yeah. Um, but I think that about wraps it up for us today. I would say so. You know, like we said before, if you want to talk to us, you can always hit us up on our email. Bonesandtubs at gmail.com. We like long-form emails. Yeah, I love yeah. them. We don't get enough. I would prefer as many as you could send. Um, if you haven't done it yet, I think you should go over to YouTube and subscribe to our channel. YouTube.com forward slash Bones and Tubs show. Subscribe. Share us with your friends. Get them to subscribe. You could also... Help us go live at 1,000 followers. You could also follow or message us on Instagram. Instagram.com forward slash Bones and Tubs. Um, we're on Facebook. Facebook.com forward slash Bones and Tubs. We're on Twitter. At Bones Tubs. Now, like I said, during this time of strife and trouble, economic trouble, Mm -hmm. uh, I would, I'm not gonna like compel you all to go out there. You're not gonna recommend that they do what Ian Fogg did and go out and join the Bones and Tubs Nation or the Secret Order of Bones and Tubs at Patreon.com forward slash Bones and Tubs. It's not a like. Listen, if it, it like it, it, the best thing you do right now is just share the show. We would get the message you share out there it in every single way. Share it in your messenger. Share it in your all your socials and your text messages. Yeah. So, you know, if you want to, if you want to, you know, give us our, your patronage. That's cool, but I'm not really gonna stress it. Right. Or you could be like some of those boys up in Detroit and just uh, spray paint us on a wall. Bones and Tubs podcast. I yeah, appreciate that. Shout out them boys. Free advertising. For it's sure. free real estate. It's free real it estate. All right. Well, I'd, I'd like to thank you all for listening to the show today. We hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we hope that you stay safe between now and next week. And we hope to see you next time. Wash your hands. We love you. We really do. Fuck the blue line and everything they claim. The cops are the world's most dangerous gang. Most dangerous gang who will put you in chains. Fuck the blue line and everything they claim. You can lie if you want to see me. I don't need all I need is all I have. And for that I will bleed. For those who'll take a stand, not the one in the box. Fuck the judge in the system backed up by the cops. Dirty ass henchmen pitching pennies out of pockets. If you question them at all, I pull out the rocket. A rich and in the trigger fingers been on the red. That's why the people are shaking Cause they know that they're deadly To get promoted to do what they need That's why they're locked and loaded And we'll put you on your knees Nah, it don't matter your age, race, or creed We're all considered the enemy Cause we wanna be free It's open season and the reason ain't new It's old as the ways that control me and you Brat, brat, I back them down with the sound Brat, brat, I back them down with the sound Brat, brat, I back them down with the sound Brat, brat, I back them down with the sound Here's a list you piss, probably not you ain't read it Just wait until they cuff your wrist, I bet then you'll see it Live in your face, tell me how that makes taste Like shit, when they mix in that taser from the waist They pack it to pull it, and they got them to use them And you pay for it, all the new tanks and guns New toys everywhere, they're like kids at Christmas Running downstairs with your name on the hit list Boom, 
They unwrapped the box and left shells at your door Then they broke the locks from up top to strike and got you in sights A sniper's a bitch and will take away your life They shoot when they want, just cowards with power And no different than the ones who took the Jews off the showers Oh yeah, I said it Fuck their excuses, the clueless and useless And way beyond ruthless, just jackboot thugs who get paid to obey Orders to kill you or put you in a cage If you don't think it, just do what you're told Your conscience is dead, you don't have a soul That's why it's easy for them to murder Robert Steele Cause they're already dead, now nah, they can't feel Blah, blah. I back them down with the sound blah, blah. I back them down with the sound blah, blah. I back them down with the sound blah, blah. I back them down with the sound Fuck the blue bond and everything they claim The cops are the world's most dangerous game Gang, most dangerous gang who will put you in chains Fuck the blue bond and everything they claim Fuck the blue bond and everything they claim The cops are the world's most dangerous gang Most dangerous gang who will put you in chains Fuck the blue bond and everything they claim